Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. I just couldn't resist this good weather, so I'm sitting out on the front steps and visiting with you today. This Sunday, I'm beginning a new sermon series about making godly choices. And beginning with a passage from Joshua 24, where Israel must decide once again, whom will they serve? We read these words in Joshua 24, 15. Now, if you're unwilling to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors served in the region beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. If you remember a little bit about the Old Testament, there is, this isn't a new problem. Israel is constantly being influenced by outside cultures, foreign spouses, poor kings and leaders, and just making poor choices that led them away from the Lord, the God of Israel. And they had constantly been going back and forth and once again were worshiping national, other national gods. And so today we, we, we read in the scripture that Joshua was saying, you've got to make a choice. You can't have it both ways. Are you going to worship the Lord, the God of Israel, or are you going to be, continue to worship these other gods? And so even though they had good intentions, they didn't always get it right. And you know, Joshua was holding them accountable, and he was giving them a chance to repent and really to get a second chance to get it right. And that got me to thinking, who holds you and I accountable who holds up a mirror for us? Who calls us to repentance? Who gives us a second chance to get it right? Who's our Joshua? As I thought about it, God really has blessed us with multiple Joshuas as modern believers. I pray and hope that I hold you accountable each week through my sermons, devotions, and weekly videos as I share God's word with you and remind you how these passages apply to our lives. That's one way you're held accountable. We're also blessed to have multiple translations of the Bible, online resources, and a ton, a ton of books to help us better understand God's Word. As we dig into God's Word, as He speaks through His Word, He pricks our conscience and He steers us back to the right path for our lives. I'm also grateful that we're blessed with Jeff and Joyce who offer us weekly Bible studies and helps us to dig into God's word, to grow in our faith, and to, to support us through life, and yes, hold us accountable. These small groups provide the best path to stay right with God. And then we have the Wesley Church family, that through their presence, their example and their tangible support, they help all of us to stay the course in good times and bad times. We're better together, and it takes a real friend to help us navigate the challenges of life and sometimes to even help us see the errors of our ways. My friends, never underestimate the premium value of your church family. So I thank God today because as we've been looking at this passage, he and I are renewing our commitment to serve God. Because of all that I've just mentioned, it's a little easier for us to stay the task. And I wanna challenge you to join us and choose today to serve the Lord. Strengthen that choice by worshiping regularly, engaging in daily devotions and Bible reading, participating in Bible study, and staying connected within your church family. It will help you stay the course and keep you accountable. I have some announcements that I want to share with you about things that are happening here at Wesley Church and some upcoming community activities. Uh, on Saturday, uh, November 7th, the Marysville Lions Club is sponsoring a free pancake and sausage breakfast to all veterans that reside in Perry County. It will be held from 7.30 to 11 o'clock at the Marysville Lions Club. Our church conference is coming up on November 17th, 
This year will be done virtually by a Zoom meeting. It is absolutely essential. You must RSVP to the office so that we can email you an invitation to that meeting. Uh, we've begun collecting non-perishable food items and monetary donations for our Thanksgiving food box distribution. You can bring your items to the church by November 18th and place them in the fellowship hall. Your monetary donations can be placed in an envelope and marked food box ministry, and you can place your envelope either in the offering plate or use the drop box at the church. Of course, our COVID protocols continue to remain in place. We ask that you RSVP if you plan to worship uh, in person. If you're in the building, please wear a mask. And also, we provide uh, our services on Facebook and YouTube. We live stream every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Well, I thank you for visiting with me today. And let's close this time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you so very much that we can come to you today. We can renew our choice to serve the Lord, the Lord and the God of Israel. Thank you for all the ways that you encourage us and support us and help us and give us ways that we can know that we are on track with you and that we are doing the right thing. Thank you especially for our church family and especially for how they help us to stay faithful and to stay on track in serving you. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for visiting with me. We'll talk again soon. And may the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe. Bye-bye.